Hello everybody, Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, I just looked it up. The plague of locusts is in Africa and near the Middle Eastern, well, near Pakistan. So yeah, Africa and uh, Pakistan and probably all the countries in between are getting hit by uh, locusts. So uh, don't be surprised. Uh, this is the, I made two uh, audios and I'm going to string them together. So I wanted to look that up. There's just type in, go to Google and type in locusts 2020 and you'll read. Um, I don't think there's a food going to be a food shortage in the United States. Well, there will be, but it'll be planned. And they'll probably take our food and sell it to the highest bidder over in the Middle East or whatever. Another thing, too, uh, if I remember correctly, Smithfield Hams is the largest pork producer in the world. And now they're owned by Red China, if memory serves me correctly. Yeah, Smithfield Foods is owned by China. I just looked it up. So, all right. There you go. Keep listening for part two. Hello, everybody. Listen, um, there was a plague of locusts in the Middle East. I'm not sure exactly what countries without looking it up, but there was a bunch of locusts all over the place, somewhere in the area of the Middle East. And they ate everything. And they were in, they're in danger, you know, all our crops are gone. And they're in danger of starvation. You know what I was thinking? Well, you know the you-know-whos own the food companies. Like uh, Archer Daniel Midland and uh, Mon Satano and um, I forget the other some of the other big ones, but, you know, these big food companies. Maybe this Vi, Russ, is a total scam. And they're using this to say that the food supply is breaking down. You know, people not showing up for work and things not getting processed to so that when we have shortages of food here it's not because of that it's because they're going to sell the food to these other countries for more money maybe that's why did you hear that they're called out some troops to guard the food supplies hmm yeah, look it up. Our buddy uh, Chump, he um, he did this. So maybe this this whole thing is just contrived to uh, so that they can uh, sell the food to the highest bidder to those that had their crops destroyed from the um, the plague of locusts, and that we're going to see shortages, major shortages. I mean, let's face it, uh, Egypt was the breadbasket of the Middle East for many, many, many years. That's why uh, Greece, uh, Macedonians, Alexander the Great, and then Rome, and uh, many other countries invaded Egypt because of the uh, crop growing ability afforded it by the Nile River. So this just kind of popped into my mind. You know, maybe this whole food shortage thing is a charade. I don't know. I just kind of thought about that. You know, I don't claim to be a prophet or anything. I just popped into my brain and I thought I would share it. And, uh, you know, there's probably going to be a major food shortage at least until next year. Um and that's if the Lord uh, 
even allows us to have food next year. So we'll see what happens. All right. I just thought I would throw that out there and, um, you know, read Matthew 24. Uh, Bible says there'd be famines, you know, and uh, all those people that are so sure that the pre-trib rapture is sure, uh, true and that they're not going to be here for all this stuff. Well, you know, why waste your time preparing? I mean, you know, uh, look at Joseph when he went to Egypt. He was told in a dream that there'd be seven years of famine. He prepared. Jesus warned us in Matthew 24, Mark 13, there'd be famine. Pre-tribbers don't believe Jesus when he tells them the things that are going to happen. Otherwise, they would prepare. Oh, we're not going to be here, they say. We're going to be flying out of here any second, so look up. And if you don't believe in the pre-trib rapture, well, then you're going to be left behind. Ask him to show you that verse in the Bible. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know where it's at. It's in the uh, it's in it's in the book of Judas, in the sixty-sixth chapter, and the sixth verse. Uh, it's in it's in Judas sixty-six six. That's where. Yeah, if you don't believe in the pre-trib rapture. Uh, you, you don't cut, get caught up. So, all right, I thought I'd bring that up and, um, you know, prepare accordingly, people. Prepare accordingly. Plant a garden. All right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ. Je uh, in Jesus' name, amen.